Russell Brand hosts the show tonight, and they open with a parody of Bill O'Reilly's interview with Barack Obama last Super Bowl Sunday. And although they repeated the same joke over and over again in the sketch, which was, you know, Bill O'Reilly's got the biggest ego in the world, since I can never get enough of making fun of Bill O'Reilly, I'm going to give the sketch a big thumbs up. But the audience really started to laugh when Russell Brand came out and delivered his opening monologue. The guy's a stand-up comedian, he's at the top of his game, and it was a really, really solid monologue. And he's married to Katy Perry, which is something really worth admiring, as was the fake commercial they followed the monologue with, uh, parroting all the injuries in the Broadway Spider-Man show. Really funny. But then they got into some shaky ground with this travel channel scene they did, and the only thing that saved it was Kristen Wiig's energy. She is amazing. Fake British movie trailer, brilliant. Although I did find it rather strange that they gave the lead in it to Bill Hader instead of the Russell Brand, who is an actual Englishman with an accent. But then we get to the biggest joke of the night, which is that Miley Cyrus is hosting the show March 5th. Shoot me now. And now we're a third of the way through the show, which is usually where it starts to go downhill, but it doesn't because they did the sketch about a food taster and apparently having a comedian who can act makes the sketches funnier. And then Chris Brown sang a song that I kind of liked and we're halfway through the show and I'm still having a good time. Oh, and here comes Weekend Update. Solid as usual. Hosni Mubarak interview. Awesome. Little Wayne and Eminem. Brilliant. But now we're into the last half hour of the show, which is where it usually goes to die. But now I'm getting nervous because they start to do this scene called Living Single and Vanessa Bears playing this character that is kind of interchangeable with her Miley Cyrus impersonation and they kind of don't know what they're doing with the scene. But then Russell Brand swoops in. They do a few quick jokes and physical comments Comedy, and they end the scene quickly. Nice move, guys. But then they come back from a commercial, and three of the guys are dressed as old British ladies in drag, and I am scared. Then the scene turns out to be really funny, and there are several shots of Russell Brand in a skirt with his legs spread wide. And let me tell you, if that had been his wife, Katy Perry, those shots would be on the cover of every tabloid in the world tomorrow. But now we're in the home stretch, and Chris Brown comes out and sings a forgettable love song, and then amazingly, they pull out a political sketch with Russell Brand playing George Washington. We got Nancy Pelosi and John Boehner, and it's super silly and awesome, and the show goes out on top, which is fantastic, because I'm going to need this memory to get me through the March 5th Miley Cyrus show.